this is what I'm going to teach you in this video. I'm going to teach you the bowing pattern that makes Orange Blossom Special so cool. Um, the thing that makes Orange Blossom Special so exciting and fun to listen to is the fact that there's a pattern of three being played against a pattern of four and it creates that driving syncopation and it also creates some problems for people trying to learn it. Um, so I'm going to explain kind of the science of what's going on with uh, the Orange Blossom Special Bowing and then we're going to learn it by rote, by tapping it on our shoulders and finally we're going to get the bowing pattern down, okay? So, first I'm going to show you technically what is going on. I just drew this out with my little Sharpie marker, okay? Orange Blossom Special, if it's in 4-4 time, um, consists of a pattern of s solid 16th notes, but you've got these accents which happen every third note. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we have a note left over, which sort of carries us back to the beginning again. And I'll explain that to you a little later in this video, okay? So you can count this any number of ways. Um, I was taught to count 16th notes, 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a... I'll say that slower. 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a... And that's kind of nice because it kind of includes the beat. You're counting the beats as you go 1, 2, 3, 4, but you're filling in all these other 16th notes with sort of nonsense syllables. So if I was to count this, it would be 1E and a, 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a. But if I was going to include the accents, it would sound like this. 1E e and a, 2E e and a, 3E e and a, 4E e and a. 1E e and a, 2E e and a, 3E e and a, 4E e and a. Okay? That's awkward, especially when we go the speed of Orange Blossom Special. So we could count all the 16th notes. We could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's even more awkward. So you can see where I'm going. I'm basically going to tell you don't try to count them. Just try to feel them. And uh, so let me show you the flip side. <laughs> <laughs> of this little chart. Um, this is kind of a simplified version of all of this garbage, okay? If it's a pattern of every third note, why don't we just count it in threes? And then we've got a, remember that leftover note right there that I was telling you about? That's where we, why we have this square, because that represents the, it's we have groups of three until the very end we've got one group of four. So for every measure of the Orange Blossom Special we've got one, two, three, four, we've got four groups of three and one group of four. We also in every measure of the Orange Blossom Special we have some accents. One, two, three, four, five. Five accents in every measure. So you've got five accents juxtaposed to four beats, which is where some of that cool rhythm comes from. Also, we have string crossings. Everywhere you see one, two, you're going to be on your lower strings. Everywhere you see a three or a bold line represents a string crossing to the upper strings. So in the beginning you're playing on the D and G string right here, then you'd cross over to the D and the A string. So every accent also happens to be a string crossing. Okay, so let's just count this through a couple times. Just try to get rid of that bleed through from the other side of the page, okay? 
Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, 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 four. Again. One, two, three, 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 four. Okay, and now we have to merge it into a recycling type thing where we go from the end back to the beginning in a seamless, way, seamless fashion. So let's do that a couple times. One, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four. Okay. I hope that's enough. Um, I don't want to drill this to death, so I'm going to just let you work on speeding that up yourself. And once you get good at that, or maybe that's really hard for you and you'll do better with the tapping exercise. So um, I'm just going to move on to the tapping and you can use what's most helpful for you. Okay. We're going to go based on those groups of three and we're going to tap. Um, starting with our left hand, I'm going to do the opposite so that we have a mirror image so you can tap right along with me. Okay, we're going to tap our left hand <laughs> on the one, two, and our right hand is going to take care of all the threes. Okay, and that's kind of important because once you get actually up on your instrument, it's going to be good that you've done the accent with your right hand because of the pattern your bow is going to be doing. So anyway, just you can do what you want. <laughs> I suggest that you start with your left hand, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three, 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 four. Now we're going to glue them together and we're going to speed up until I run out of air. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four. And I'm out of air. So that is part of just learning it by rote, so that you're not worried about counting, you're not worried about how many groups of three and then the group of four, you're just trying to get it into your ear, and that's going to be a really big help if you can just start to feel it, okay? Now there's a, just a couple more elements before we actually pick up the violin, a couple more things that give my students fits, which I'm going to share with you in hopes that you can cure it before it becomes a problem.